Only a week to the Gold Cup, and by the time they get down to the bottom hill, those runners will be happy if they got this win behind them. I remember a falling off border incident in the Gold Cup when I thought I was going to win on him one year and went to go just one side, went the other side, something just yeah. tipped him and it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a little knock. thing. It's your knock, isn't that? Yeah, right? just how it goes. And I remember John Joe went past me, he was on a horse of JP's called Jack of Trumps yeah. and he was laughing at me laying on the ground when he fell at the next fence. <laughs> Coming in the chat then. Like yes, because you'd be um, staying down here for the festival, so you'll probably be in, in the town on the race day. It's a buzzier place, isn't it? It is. You know, if, you, if you're actually in here, you know, I used to avoid it. I, used, I never used to go into the town even. You used to just drive here, turn right, and go the shortcut in. You know, my dad used to come and um, Don Shanks or whoever, you know, all the punters, they'd be in the bar early on. But, as a jockey, you'd get here as late as you could without getting involved in too much traffic, and then um, go and hide yourself away in the in the waiting room. The closer you get to the races, the less confident you are. You'd be there'd be something that you'd be thinking, oh, this is absolutely going to blow everything else apart and then the closer you get you start talking to a few of the Irish lads and then you get less confident and then you come in and get absolutely annihilated. Friday is such a big day though, isn't it? Obviously and it was a three day challenge, it was a three day challenge early in my career and it would have been for you too and it was a quick week then wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was like first day over, you're into the second day before you know it, it's third day. Over. It's a longer week now, and we have the potential for a five week, five day festival. Yeah, do you know what? It's, what's your feelings on it? To me, I just think it's diluted enough already. You, you know? could you could say that, but they, they say there isn't going to be many or any additional races. What, they're just going to have six races a day? Six races a yeah. day, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't mind that. Yeah, I agree with you with the dilution or potential, but you could never get enough for either. The Ascot's five days. Ascot wasn't always five days, was it? No, Ascot used to be four days as well. Whatever happens, if you'd said to me years ago they're going to start racing on a Sunday, I'd have said that. I oh, just couldn't be dealing with that. I never raced on, well, I used to go abroad maybe to ride every now and again on a Sunday. Now it's just the norm and people take it and you've got to say if you're an owner you know it's one extra day Saturday Sunday if you're working all week you can go in and see the horses whatever, whatever they do it, life will go on mm. we have a quiz question riding out every morning Stuart Shilston always gets them right so the one this morning was how many horses have won the Gold Cup more than twice? More than twice. Well, Arkell, Gordon Miller, best mate. Quarter star. No, twice. More than, well, but it, yeah, twice. Twice and more than. Yeah, no, twice, twice, twice or more. Oh, there's more yeah. than, yeah, but sure, then you're cottage right. I often stay here. This would be the kind of area. Oh, it's a bit upmarket. I know, yeah. I get a good deal. Oh, I don't have a mobile home then. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's generally around this area. It's nice. Yeah. Yes, how many, how many jewel or more? Yeah. Cottage Rake, Golden Miller. Uh, I wouldn't know my history that one said two. Eight. Eight. There are eight. <laughs> so the Gold Cup. If Henry's are coming into farm, I think Manila in the one the Gold Cup last year with a bit in hand. There's a big, there's a doubt about Willie Mullins is about Adam Photo on his recent work. He said that in his, his, his stable tour, so that is obviously a negative for him. I, I really like Manila in though. If Henry's are coming back to form, it's it was a big thing. I thought Al Boom Photo when he um, won his second Gold Cup. You know, everything looked good, and so often it kills horses. And about six weeks ago, all the word 
from Ireland was that he was back in form, but then it's just, I think his work's just tailed off a little bit. What else have you got? So what else do we have? Abu Tarrant, obviously, he's favourite. Um, he he was very impressed when Haydock, didn't he? Wasn't he? He got beaten by Galvin. I think Galvin is an improver, but the better the ground, the better for him. Abu Tarrant, I thought if he was the real deal, he would have overcome Galvin in Leopardson with the pace he has. I think Cheltenham will suit Galvin more than Leopardson will have, I think, the pace of the race and the, the hill. We're talking about the Irish horses for the Gold Cup, as if it's between them, but I think England have a good chance to do it. Yeah, they've got, they've, well, they've got a few. Um, if it's really soft, protect rat, he'll like the ground. There's no doubt about that. He was good in entry. He was really good. Chantry House, he must show something at home. I've never, you know, he hasn't shown anything so far this year. No, and his form last year was good. He was third in the Supreme the year before. He has got class. He annihilated Chambleau in, in entry, having won the Turners last year. Um, but Nicky holds massive faith in him. I know, but you just, you couldn't tell anybody to back him from what he's shown this year. But you could never have thought at any stage that he would have won the Cotswolds, and he won it. Yeah, I suppose so. How about Tornado Flyer, the King George winner? Would he be good enough? He gave him a great ride, I think. I think he'd have won on any of the first three. <laughs> I'd say all right. He was brilliant on him. But I think the race suited him. Kempton, quick track. They went ultra quick. But he had the pace to be able to sit in the comfort zone. And then he had Danny on board to type the run. So I think he was brilliant on him. He was beaten 37 lengths by Aplut Hard in the Savile's Chase last year. That's his only run over a proper three mile. Yeah, and the contours of the track don't always suit everything. Yeah. You know, I think I think being able to cope with the undulations, some horses, you know, relish it and the others don't. And you need to be a proper stare. Yeah. And I think Minalindo, Minalindo is a brilliant record. He won the Albert Bartlett. He was only touched off by Champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won the Gold Cup. Yeah, he let's go Gold for Cup. him. He, he's the one, with Henry's horses coming back to form, he's the, he sets the standard. Um, I think Galvin will protect the rat at the improvers. The only thing about him is, and you could have made a lot of money punting, if you'd laid Gold Cup winners the following season, yeah. when they don't come back, Album yeah. photo is probably in people's memories, but prior to that, I remember oh, yeah. the, the likes of Kicking King and War the end, endless list of yeah. them that never came back and won a race, and never mind another Gold they Cup. They win the Gold Cup, and I think this is going to win the next two. Yeah. But when you stand at the top of the hill and look to where the winning post is, and I always say to lads, this is further then you will ride work in the mornings. Mm. I said, and you don't jump off riding work thinking, I better get going now. You know, that's it. you're a long way from that post. So yeah, the Triumph heard Friday. Yeah, the try. it wasn't a good race for me. I must have ridden five favorites and got them all beaten. But this year, um, Willie looks like he's got a strong hand, does he? Yeah, but boom. Very good. So Baboon and Pied Piper. Pied Piper beat the Baboon in a maiden order of punch down earlier in the season. Only a length or two between them. Did he not come and win over here, Pied Piper? Pied Piper then came yeah. and won in Cheltenham and destroyed everything here. And Baboon then beat Pied Piper stable mate Phil Dorr, who was favourite in Leopardstown, was impressive. There was improvement expected in Baboon from Punchestown to Leopardstown. Willie's very strong. Pied Piper now is really impressive. Cheltenham and likewise they're very strong too. They look like two very good horses. Um, England and Knights lose. It makes such a difference, doesn't it, when you get um, horses that come off the flat. You know, they could be rated 70 on the flat and suddenly they take to hurdles and, you know, they're away and they just completely transform their form. got a different career at the festival to myself and the majority of jockeys but I would say that you had far more good days than bad days. 
Oh. For most people, you have far more days where you go home with your tail, your tail between <laughs> your legs and you get to the top of the hill and you think, oh, just not even going to be in contention again. You know, it's yeah, all gone. Oh, the, know. You know, the tank's empty just to stay yeah. in touch. So what did Fado to finish in the Albert Bartlett? Well, it normally throws up a really good horse, doesn't it, the Albert Bartlett? It's been a, a real good um, innovation for the last 10 years or so. Uh, what have we got this year that's on the shortlist? You know, the, the horse that really interests me is Henry Dane's horse, Seacrest. Yes. He was very impressive at Haydock last time. I didn't think it would particularly suit him. And he's massive. Um, and I'd like to see him win. I thought, I'd like to see him win for Henry. Um, obviously, it's a bit disappointing that Trevor Hemmings isn't going to be around to see him. But he, he could keep Trevor's colours going for yeah, a few years. Yes, yeah. 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 I thought he was very good too. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I don't think he had a socialist jumping. You know how flat Haydock is. Yeah, yeah. He puts emphasis on going forward. And a big horse, I think he'd be better suited to Cheltenham. It's just time and again the Irish come over and they just relent. Something just comes down that hill and just gallops on it like it's just jumped in, doesn't it? They just got a knack of getting them there right on the day. I think the handicaps, the English are better positioned for the handicaps this year, but I think they're lower, they're not lower than last year in quality, but they're lower than the good days and quality in the great races. Um, and then we've got the Triumph, and I can't say that I've been overly impressed with anything um, of ours. Um, as an horse of Milton Bradley's who's done nothing wrong and hasn't got a lot of credit for what he's done I don't think but they've been so bullish on Bogon and obviously he's going to take a bit of beating in it. Yes, and Pipe Piper as well. I'm, I'm going to go Pipe Piper. Who beat him once. And I think that does count. We've arrived at Cleve Hill, John. Yeah, I've you? had the good sense to bring it, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> they call this Freeze Hill, I think, not, not Cleve Hill, but um, uh, it's just a great place. If it wouldn't matter what you had at um, Presbury, it's just a great backdrop. I have a but confession to make. Go on. I've never been. No way! Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen the photos, the footage, everything. Yeah, yeah. I've never actually been. So. Really? Oh, well, you're I'm in for a treat. Voyage. Come on, keep your warm. Your, as, as in fact, I'll look after your coat for you. You'll be fine. <laughs> She's on the top of the Ah, not quite as daft as I, <laughs> I seem. <laughs> right, come on. I hope up, you grow into it. Up Cleve Hill. I hope I don't. <laughs> come on. Just amazing. Yeah, it, it looks beautiful. Only a week to the Gold Cup, and by the time they get down to the bottom of the hill, those runners will be happy if they got this win behind them with the last two furlongs to run. But who's it going to be? Absolute hard, I think. We think it's Henry. I think Vanilla Yeah, well, he'll be happy with the one-two, that's for certain. There'll be some cheer no matter who it's for.